So what do you make of the war where the president's talking, uh, uh, Tony Snow, the president's spokesman, is talking long-term commitment beyond September. People talk about the, a Korean-style commitment of a half a century. Is that bad PR? Um, I don't know. I mean, I'm not very savvy about PR. What I do know is that it would be a disaster if we pulled out, um, and maybe we could fight the war a little harder um, and not keep responding to Amnesty International more complaints. More troops? I don't think we even need more troops. I think we'd be a little less worried about civilian casualties. I mean, are the, are, are the terrorists, are Islamic terrorists a more frightening enemy than the Nazi war machine? I don't think so. Fanatics can be stopped. Japanese kamikaze bombers, you can stop them by bombing their society. We killed more people in two nights over Hamburg than we have in the entire course of the Iraq war. Who should we bomb in Iraq? Um, the insurgent forces. I mean, we did in Afghanistan last week hit Taliban. And what do we hear in the New York Times? Amnesty is crying because some civilians were hit. Well, that happens in a war. And I'd rather have their civilians die than our civilians die. Do you die. believe that we, that we uh, win the war on terrorism by killing uh, lots of Arabs on national television? Do you think it helps the case? Um, I don't know if it needs to be on international television. It well, wasn't. It is. I don't think it makes a difference. I thought you were saying that was like one of the advantages. I don't think it needs to be on international television. But yes, you can destroy the fighting spirit of fanatics. We've done it before. We know how to do it. How and do it's we... not by fighting a clean little hygienic war. What do we do with teenagers now who are, say, 15 years old now who want to grow up to be terrorists? How do we stop them from growing up to be terrorists? How do we win the war against terrorism, in other I words? think I've just said it. You cannot fight a clean, hygienic war. Um, I mean, I think we either have to get rid of this secular religion of FDR, or we have to get rid of the idea of a hygienic war, because that was not a clean, hygienic war, World War II. We killed a lot of civilians, and we crushed mm. the Nazi war machine. And the idea that Nazi Nazism, which was tied to a civilized culture, was mm. less of a threat than the Koran tied to a Stone Age culture culture, I think is preposterous. If we want to win this war, we absolutely could. And I think we've been too nice so far. Well, the Nazis, we defeated them rather well by going into Berlin, and certainly the U.S. Army and the Soviet Army did that job. Right now, we face an Islamic world of about a billion people. We face an Arab world of over 300 million people. We don't just face one country, we face a people. How do we convince them, the people who are open-minded about it, not to join the terrorists? How do we do it? You destroy the will of fanatics, and it doesn't matter how broad it is. It can be destroyed. And yes, this is a trickier war because it's spread out. It's not just one country right. we need to attack. Um, but a lot of the things that we need to do, um, such as listening to terrorists in this country with, you know, on Al Zakari's speed dial, we have liberals in this country screaming bloody murder about how we treat terrorists captured who are at Guantanamo. The, whether whether um, Khalid Sheikh Mohammed is being waterboarded, if this is a country that is worried about that, and I don't think it is, then we may as well give up right now. Do you worry that killing civilians even accidentally as part of collateral damage or by the, the way things happen, war-friendly fire? that that's going to encourage more young people to become enemies no. of the United States? No, 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 no. No, no, because you are destroying the society that has produced these monsters. And you, you win by killing the other side and not allowing your side to be killed. Withdrawal would be the worst thing we could do. We could definitely fight it a little bit harder. Um, I mean, I understand why Rumsfeld wanted to have a small footprint. It is a little bit different since it wasn't a country attacking it, us. It is this ideology that is okay. spread throughout the Middle East. Yeah, that makes it a lot trickier. But the small footprint didn't really work. Americans are getting fed up. Democracies don't like to go to war, so we're going to have to wrap it up quickly and just destroy the fighting spirit of the fanatics. We've been in this